At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Marcus Rashford starts alongside Mason Mount in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa stands between the posts. Kalidou Koribali plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Denis Zakaria plays alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Mudrik. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? A chance to whip it in. Marcus Rashford. And it's with Amrabat. Sofian Amrabat. And Rashford. Oh, super piece of play. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So underway again here, 1 0 the score. Thiago Silva. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Nicely timed tackle. Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes. And it's with Amrabat. Rashford. Here's Casemiro. Determined defending. Mikhailo Mudrik. Kukureya. Kuribali. Mateo Kovacic. Can he finish here? Still alive. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, it seems like it's only a matter of time before Chelsea get back into this game and get the equaliser. That was a great piece of goalkeeping. Mount. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Zakaria. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Ziyech. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next on the drama?
Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Mount. Bruno Fernandes. Well, great read there to intercept. Kukureya. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And a corner coming up for Chelsea. Can they make good use of it? <laughs> Delivering it. Well, the danger is still there. Really vital interception. And the referee's whistle, we've reached the halfway point here at Wembley. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. to deny him he's driven in the corner struggling to get it away Mount now with Casimiro Rashford. Well, high quality defending. Nkunku. Thiago Silva. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Oh, horrible injury to his shoulder there. Landed right on top of it. Sore, but he's tough, and I think he'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. Kovacic. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So back in action, and it's up to United now to be inventive. Ziyech. This is Thiago Silva. What can Chelsea do from this position? Ziyech. And on to Kovacic. And he did what he had to do defensively. Sofian Amrabat. Lisandro Martinez. Rashford. And that pass could be troublesome. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Ziyech. Nkunku has it. And return to Ziyech. United regaining possession. And into the last 20 minutes. It's a fine United move in the making. 
defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Nkunku, will it be? Danger averted. Nkunku. And here's Ziyech. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. <laughs> Playing it short. Oh, great defending. Bruno Fernandes. And so into the final five minutes. Well, almost at the end of the game now, it's been a fascinating contest and it's Chelsea with a very narrow advantage. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? The clock is against Manchester United here, but their dreams remain alive. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. And very deftly cut out. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yep, you can see what it means to the...